goodness. That's two cutscenes in one video. That is the story. Did you find out something related to Lloyd? Oh well, that's unfortunate. You were already here, so you might as well check the reference room upstairs. Are there more books? No. It contains the historical mirror material of Mill Sassau. For other people, it may seem to be mere trash. However, for our country, they are all historic objects. This is something left by the Black Monster that brought an inferno down on this country. The Black Monster! It has already been 18 years. It's surprisingly a young man like you knows about it. Oh, it's surprising that a young man like you knows about it. I was born in Neat. God, are you a survivor from the village? My oh my. That's a lot of stuff. Oh, that must be the phantom ship. This is the stained glass of the church in Neat. Do you remember seeing this? Yes, faintly, but I do remember. It was really a monster. These are the only things that survived the Black Flame. Do you know anything about what happened to Neat back then? Any survivors or... I know only one. Who's that? The second sacred sister of Mil Sassau, Sister Luana. It seems you don't know her. However, I can tell you a little bit about the Black Monster. There is a legend about the Black Monster and the Moonchild. Would you like to hear it? Yes, please. It is ironic, but... The people who visit the church in Neat crave for their own happiness by looking at this stained glass, which shows the legend of the Black Monster and the Moonchild. God damn! Why did the gods create him? The Black Monster. He appears in various legends as a demon who rebels against and devours the gods. An evil plague that rejects peace in the world. A god that is the moon that never sets. The moon that never sets glows red every 108 years. It is a sign that a herald is sent to Earth. The herald is known to us as the Moonchild. The legend says the Moonchild revives the gods on Earth and purifies the world. The black monster abhors, hates, and despises it, and kills the Moonchild. This sad karma is endless. This god stays forever in the sky, and the world is in never-ending chaos. Right then, that's kinda... Oh, meanwhile, it neat. Kinda burned that. Hey, there's Rose! Nothing has changed. Is it taking... It's silly. So we're in control of Rose. Mother... I'm back. I don't know what voice that's supposed to be. Ah. Mother, it's been a while since the tragic day I lost my sight. I'm able to see today thanks to the love of many people like Seti here. 
May the divine tree bless all the victims of the tragedy. Who is it? I didn't mean to surprise you. You are just a traveler. Please don't be alarmed. There are people of need, and my mother sleeping here. Are you here to visit the grave too? I guess so. Then you know about Neat? Know about it? Rose lived it. Or, yeah, I'm betting she did. Neat, 18 years ago. Where is Princess Luvia? I will never tell you! I... I can't see! Mom, I'm scared! Don't come! Where is Princess Luvia? Where did you hide the moon child? We don't know. What kind of spiteful what kind of spitefulness do you have towards our village? You wanna die with your daughter? Mom, I'm scared. Princess Luvia, left for the sea. This must be enough to satisfy you. Now leave this village. The chance to eliminate child comes only once every 108 years. It's the time of birth when the moon glows a blood color. The newly born moon child has a magic power. That magic power changes everyone around into an avil avangel <laughs> avangelist for the god, a servant to help prepare for the descending of, a of the god. Ah! My objectives will not be satisfied until I kill every single person was present as the moon child passed through. Mom, answer me! It's hot! It's burning! Mom! Mom. It was a miracle that I survived. I see. We were blinded back then. Yes, however, the god imparted me with something else. Sis Sister Luana can see people's soul souls. But she can feel their pain too. Because of this, Sister Luana has suffered. Now I can appreciate this power that I have, because it allows me to heal the pain in people's hearts. If you need to heal the pain in your heart, please tell me. I can help you. That's not necessary. By the way, are you done? Yes, I will go back to Deningrad soon. Soon. <laughs> May I join you? Even if you are with knights, the forest is filled with dangerous monsters. I can protect you from them. I see. Then I'll ask you to come with us. <laughs> there goes the captain and the knights. Home of Maru. The hell? It's been a long time. I wonder if everyone's doing all right. I wonder if they feel lonely without me. Oh my! Wow! Hey, watch out! Who is this coming through the boundary? Who? Who are you? Not knowing me. Maru? Is that you, Maru? Garha? <laughs> Garha? Oh, w wait a minute. What? Long time no see. You look great. Do you think I'm really great? How could you leave without telling me? Where have you been? H hey!
Hey! I came all the way back here. You don't need to yell at me. Aren't you happy to see me? I'm very happy to see you. But leaving the forest is our taboo. You left the forest, so I don't know if everybody else in the forest will forgive you, Maru. Who cares about taboos? Everybody in this forest? And the humans outside? Both of us are living in the same world. How come we have to draw a line and lock ourselves in like this? That's what I want to know. I've been living in this forest forever. I wish I knew. I'm going to ask the Ancestor. I won't ask you anymore. Oh my. Um, Maru? You care explaining why you live with Winglies? I... kind of want to know. I'm fairly suspicious about this. I'm... I'm... Oh my goodness. I'm home! Oops, it seems I'm not that welcome. It's Maru. Maru is back! This is my home! I can come home anytime! Such selfishness is not tolerated. There is no place to come home to, Maru. Home, uh, Maru... Maru, explain yourself. But... That's true! You are the black sheep of the Proud Winglies. How dare you shamelessly come back! Black sheep of wing... Maru's a wingly! The hell! I thought you were satisfied with your dis decadent human life, weren't you? Bartle? What are you talking about? Go back to the humans. And wait there for the moment we destroy the humans. Stop it! The Ancestor! You left the forest on your own volition. How, co how come you came back? I just want to see everybody. Leaving the forest is an unforgivable mortal sin. Didn't you know that when you left for the world of humans? As well as that, you can never come back here. Yes, I did, but it's strange. The world is 100 times bigger than this forest. There are, of course, bad humans, but there are many good humans too. You never met them, and you shouldn't hate them. There are people who hate and detest humans just because they are humans, but their number is few. We just want to protect our life. That's all. Humans have always been afraid of the magic power of Wingley's. The fear eventually turns itself into a need to t tyrannize us. Take some action. Either su subjugate or kill Wingley's. That's why we need our world, like this forest, where humans cannot enter. Go back to the other world. Your existence angers the others. I understand. I'll leave. Maru! Mother! Leave the girl alone. Father, you must be kidding! That's the rule. We are going. Mother! Father! It must be hard for you, but you must go back, Maru. Get out of our forest at once! Jeez. Not much can be done about that. Garaha! What? What are you doing? Quiet. I want to talk between just the two of us. It seems you received a horrible welcome. It's nothing to me. Stop talking tough, Maru. It was just bad timing. Everybody's feeling tense lately. Is that my fault, too? No. Recently the Earth is surging. Don't you feel it, Maru? I've been feeling it a little. The animals in the forest are acting savage. This must be the cause. But what is this? Ancestor Blano said it is a, an omen of a dragon coming back to life. What? And it is not the usual one. Even our ancestors had much stronger magic power couldn't defeat it. 
What, what kind of dragon is that? It's the strongest dragon of all. The king of dragons. With seven magical eyes. The divine dragon. Divine dragon? The ancestry says that the seal has half dissolved. That's why everybody's nervous. But, but, we have a dragon buster and a dragon block staff. Don't we? The sword for killing dragons. The dragon buster has been lost. Lloyd has that. It, it wasn't me. We know, because it was hidden with the staff in the place that only the Ancestor could open. And the talk you wanted to, between just the two of us is about the dragon? That too. But what I really want to tell you is something else. Rue, don't leave me. I want you to be at my side. I can protect you if everybody opposes you. You're, you're kind, as always. But if you do, you will be hated as well. I gotta go. Everybody's waiting for me. You have friends. They are all cool. They show me and teach me many things. Ciao! Maru! Okay, so now it's been established that Maru is also wingly and... What is this? Um... Uh... Oh my. That must be... That must be the Divine Dragon. Probably. It's broken the seal. We're all screwed. What are you going to do? Are you going to pursue that man, Lloyd? When you get time, go visit Neat. You cannot change the past. However, you can face it. By facing it, maybe you can find out where you are from and where you want to go. Thank you, librarian. I guess he wasn't just a snob. Well, we have to wait for Rose and Maru. Is anything wrong? No. I just felt this little shiver. That's all. I feel something is wrong. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna cut the parts off right here. I think I'm just gonna cut this in two parts because it's long. So, guys, please don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and in the next part, we will. I suppose we'll try to visit the palace. So, until then.